Hello, welcome along to Douglas Football Stand. It is Middlesbrough versus Stoke this afternoon. Coming through a different uh, entrance today. Still in the usual seat, of course. A bit opposite to me coming down the stairs and then coming down here. Tough game. Um, Alex Neal, of course, always seems to uh, get results against them, but especially the website stadium. He's known for getting results here. But Stoke City got a win, obviously, against Leeds. Up the bower. <laughs> Dog City got a win against Leeds uh, doing midweek. As for Borodo, we are looking for eight wins on the bounce in the league and in all competitions, of course, today. It would be uh, seven, seven wins in the league uh, on the bounce, it would be. Eight in all competitions, I beg your pardon. Looking forward to this. Fingers crossed we can continue our good one of form and get another three points. Up the bobber. Now on the way, Alex Neal versus Michael Kamek. It's a great opportunity. Oh my god, he probably should have done better with that. I can't lie, given the start they probably deserved it, we've been poor, really haven't been at the races the first couple of minutes, so yeah, frustrating start, but I mean it was such a soft goal to concede as well, we should have, should have done a lot better from the corner to be honest, but Michael Walls gives uh, Stoke City the lead inside, what, nine minutes? Someone's, someone's getting kicked out the stadium I think for the flare. Bye bye. Well, we've got a fan kicked out already. We've got a flare. Bye bye. Bye bye. Tell you what they're doing well defensively, Stoke, I have to say. They're frustrating us. Put a 15 years banner, and there's another flare, and it's in the south stand this time. Oh. 15 years of the year south stand. That's why. That's why everyone was pulling down the. Uh, that's why everyone was pulling down the, the banner. For. And that's going to be in for a lifetime ban and probably in the west. There's galore today. Good luck seeing anything with all the smoke. It's all the alley where. Oh my god! Oh, finally! This referee is all. Okay. 
But we picked it up a little bit. <laughs> oh dear. That smoke is not the smoke is not very good for me for me asthma, is it? Oh dear. Um we've started to pick it up a little bit but it was a soft goal to concede. It really was. We just had a corner there and instead of heading it into the net, he's headed it away from the goal, what an idiot. I think we'll get a goal at some Come point, on. but it's, it's all, when are we gonna be able to? Because they've been well organised defensively, Stoke. Yeah, exactly. They've been well organised defensively in this game. Just very quickly before we go anywhere else. Did you uh, ever see Bill Gates play? Hey, I don't remember. Because I'll have been a band. He's always the bottom of the bottom from three years old. So I'm going to go. I will have done, but I don't remember, if you know what I mean. Oh, fair but enough, then. It's sad that any bomb of horror player, but anyone, yeah. you know. And of course, as I said before, thoughts are with uh, Bobby Shelton's family and relatives, of course. We've invited to the funeral, but I'm going to another one instead. <laughs> Do you? Um, and obviously, thoughts and prayers with obviously the relatives <laughs> of uh, Bill Gates as well. <laughs> yes, it's in there. Ah! Oh, this should be 2-0, this. Yeah! Just awful. Absolutely invisible. Two nil down, uh, and we have been abysmal. We've been absolutely awful. Slow build up. Some of the uh, passes have just been really awful. Stoke City, you know, they've been pressing high for a lot of the game, and you know they're forcing us into errors. They get themselves a good opportunity, and it's a brilliant finish into the bottom corner. Two nil, two nil up, and well, they fully deserve to be two nil up. But we'll turn up in the second half, as we always do turn up second half. But our, our winning one is under threat at the moment. Well, we've got our Iron Boo anyway. This will probably be the best part of this final couple of minutes of the first half. It's been lousy. Join in at home. Up your nose. down half time not the sort of position I think we expected to be given our one of farm uh, coming into this game but we have been really really poor we always seem to turn up in the second half so we always seem to be a 45 minute club so we do bad first half and then we do well second half and that's been the case last couple of games but it's been shocking it really has um, Stoke fully deserved a 2 0 lead to be honest they, when they've had the chances of taking them they, they played really well they've been frustrating us uh, defensively been well organised and I will say though, the only criticism for them is they do keep time wasting at times. But uh, I'm trying to say nothing because I know Stoke fans are going. <laughs> yeah, you know, I know what I know what fans are like on social media. If you say someone's just time wasting, you get the opposition fans going. Never mind time wasting. I don't know what you want to buy. Stop complaining. You Whatever. You know. Um, but it has been poor. We've got to play much better in the second half. Some of the passes have just been absolutely appalling. On a positive note, did quite enjoy looking at the flares in the south stand and the uh, and their stand, of course. Was, was very sad about the fan that got kicked out, not, but uh, Stoke fans have made quite a bit of noise, so you got to see a fair play to them and uh, let's hope for more in the second half. Right, time for the second half. Let's see if Bo can actually put in another good second half performance like the last couple of games. Poor first half, need to turn it around. We're off. Come on, pick the passes together now. That's a good idea. That's a decent ball. Oh, good idea. Bye. Oh, that's dangerous. How on earth? How on earth have they not scored? Not about a 
Not looking good here, is it? Still 2-0 and we're in the final couple of minutes now. And we've got about four subs. Not one of the subs has made any impact whatsoever. Well, I think you can safely say this is a bad day at the office. It's one of our off days, but you cannot perform like this at Exeter and uh, Plymouth because they will beat us if we do that. Oh, dear me. Oh, what a save. Back as usual. Here you go, shielding the ball, running down the clock again. That's what most teams do when they're winning here. But they're one of the only teams to win here actually, because uh, no one's won even the last couple of games. Uh, and that really sums up the night. Uh. Gonna be the full time. That's yeah, that's that really. Somewhere of the game that. Just blow the whistle there. I just blow the whistle. <laughs> Shocking that. Today's attendance 26,732. Well that was abysmal, wasn't it? 2-0 uh, defeat at home to Stoke and it's the first game in a while where we haven't actually scored a goal. Uh, absolutely shocking that was. The first half was terrible, the second half, yeah we had some decent spells maybe in the second half but it just wasn't good enough. And I know there'll be some ball fans who disagree with this but 2-0 uh, was probably the right result. Because although we had opportunities to score, we didn't look like scoring half the time and Stoke were just by country mile the better side of way more organised defensively we couldn't find ways uh, to get through them defensively defensively we were a bit shaky and then obviously Stoke going forward were just so so much better they were, they were way better I think in every department today so fully deserved the two goals fully deserved a win and uh, fair play to their fans by the way we made quite a bit of noise good fans actually about what well there was over a thousand I would have reckoned about 1,200. I'd have reckoned about uh, probably 1,200 in the end, but yeah. Um, idiots with flares, mind. I mean, the flares were. Well, I mean, the flares will look good on the vlog, but uh, yeah, really, you shouldn't bring flares in the stadium. Uh, if you do that, you're an absolute idiot. So there you go. But on to the next games at uh, Exeter and Plymouth. Long journeys down to Devon for both um, the fans and the team. Uh, two, twice actually, next week, because we're actually playing at Exeter on Tuesday and then playing in Plymouth on Saturday. Play like that, we'll get beat by both of them, I've got to say. That was absolutely shocking. Thanks for watching though. Let's hope we can uh, pick things up again and get ourselves a win on Tuesday. Up the bother. Bye.